Boom on the battlefield. Yeah. You gotta go to the next part. I don't really can't think and of it. And I promised him that squad. I. Well, I'm gonna serve him until I die. Whoa, bro. Oh. Sanctify hands together. They don't do devotion like that. The battlefield. Whoa. You lead, Angel. I'll be back up. Well, I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. For my Lord. Well, I promise him that I will serve him till I die. Well, I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. Boom, 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 boom. Sing, Angel! What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I promised him that I. Well, I'm going to serve him till I die. I'm on the battlefield. I'm on the battlefield. Come on, child. On the battlefield. On the battlefield. Well, hey, I'm on the battlefield. I, I'm in the tunic on the field. I'm a colonel on the battlefield. I'm a soldier on the battlefield. I'm a grenade on the battlefield. I'm a landmines on the battlefield. I'm a on the battlefield. Oh, my love. Be selling my body on the street. <laughs> hey, boy, Little piece of that. pee for two McGriddles. Yeah. Gave the McGriddles to my children. Yeah. But God delivered me from giving up that meat for meat. Meat, meat, meat. I was meat. slanging that wang for a chicken wang. Slang, slang, slang. Slanging that sausage for a little bit of sausage. Uh, sausage, sausage. Don't give me no money. I need groceries. <laughs> We're all there. Ah! I don't got to do that no more. No, 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 you no. You don't know how much I had sex no, for no, money. No, no. I was a gigolo. Hey, hey, hey. But now I jig for Jesus. Jig for Jesus. I jig for my uh -huh. Savior. Uh, the only thing coming in or going out is the Holy Spirit. <laughs> hey, hey. <I> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no. All right, let's kick the show off, Josh. Keep it all in. <laughs> Welcome to Here's the Thing. I'm Kev on stage. And I'm That Chick Angel. And we got symbol, another symbol, symbol, hot symbol, episode symbol, coming symbol, for you symbol, today. Symbol, symbol. Full of bangers. Bangers all 2020. Banger, banger, Make banger, sure you banger. hit that like button. Smash that like Smash button. Smash it. Smash that banger. subscribe button. Five stars on your podcast <laughs> player. The hottest videos coming to you right now. Banger. If you haven't been watching that, this podcast, you don't know where that came from. Cycle back and you'll figure it out. Oh, and you're gonna, let it bless your soul. Let it bless you. Hey. Now, before we get started, I want to let you know, keep your uh, distance comedy this Friday. Yes, it is. Josh, cover the whole screen cover with the, the last thing. Right the now, whole right screen. Now. Look how many cover people right are covering the screen. It's we got screen. hot comedians, screen. James Davis, Leonard Oots, Dustin Nickerson, Takara Williams, yes. Tony Baker, Shuler King, myself. Tickets are $12 with the code KEV. Hey. Click the link in my Instagram bio. Click the link below. Go to KevOnStage.com. Get your tickets. If yes. you don't, get your tickets before the show starts. You cannot watch it later. It's not happening. Okay? Ain't no way. Ain't Can't no way. KevOnStage.com. No. Angel smashed last show. Thank you. 
More comedians will smash this week. Support black owned business. If you don't come to the show, you are anti black. That's point blank period. And you I'll, don't support I will black. physically be there. That's Josh how pro will black be I there am. snapping the photographs. Snap, snap, Angel snap, snap. will be watching from her home. I surely will. No makeup on, brows on the table, lashes in the box. Uh, you know it. <laughs> come on. Taking out my braids. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> laughing. <laughs> having a good time <laughs> yes it did <laughs> angel is transitioning so smoothly into black mom she forgetting names she laughing like a black mom what? she fussing at kids she's somebody's mama she okay is. she's leading the choir here leading the choir we had devotion they don't have devotion well they want praise and worship every time we got praise and worship uh-huh. there four people back when we was growing up it was devotion. devotion it was a deacon up there alone come on glasses down here hello he didn't need no music Mm-mm. he didn't need no help he nah. sing pass me not oh gentle, gentle sea hey here here yo. we come in oh hear my, my humble cry, cry. While on others thou art calling, he said, oh, do not pass me by. I said, angel, hey, I'm my calling you, Savior, oh, Savior. Why don't you hear my humble cry? Come on, Josh. While on others thou art calling, I tell you now, do not pass me by. Oh, my voice sounds better with you around, Angel. <laughs> I, I can see I see what singing sound like. Hey. I said, let me let her take the lead. I just I just get it where I fit in. No, but I ain't got to be good. Angel sound great. Josh, we gonna get you blacked Come up. On. Yeah, y'all. We gonna get that Holy Ghost until I'm Josh speaking to lyric sheet and I'm all in. Lyric <laughs> sheet. <laughs> <laughs> he <laughs> just need a hymn though. I just, just need it. Ain't no hymn though, Josh. You got it's call and response. We don't teach it. You got to learn it. <laughs> there was no. Li- I couldn't follow the leader there. No, ain't no lead. <laughs> Jesus is the lead. Jesus is the lead. Yes, he is. <laughs> so. uh Denzel Washington's son, Angel. Yes, yes, John yes, David. Yes. I found out about this last week. This man, John David Washington, says he would hide his father's identity to get acting jobs on his own. He would lie and mm-hmm. say his dad was in jail or, for, or a janitor. For normalcy. For normalcy. Uh-huh. Your thoughts, please. Does he really think that worked? <laughs> Let's start there. Does he really think that works? That people could not connect dots? Angel, when I I didn't even know he was Denzel's son. You didn't. When I first saw him in Ballers, and I was like, boy, this dude's mannerisms. Is he look like he is he doing a Denzel impersonation? He's right. trying to hide Denzel. Right. Looked it up. I said, this is Denzel, baby. <laughs> exactly. He can't hide. That's your daddy, right. boy. I don't care. I'd be like, oh, is that what they told you? If he, <laughs> if I was casting him, oh, your daddy's in jail. That's what your mama told you. Mm. Your daddy was on set. I know your father. <laughs> yes, I know your father, baby. <laughs> I don't know. There's this thing I think that people of privilege um, feel like they have to do. They have to prove themselves. Mm-hmm. And I think if because he potentially, you know, I don't know this man's life, but if yeah. I go off of when Denzel had kids and where Denzel was in his uh, in his career, yep. John David has grown up with some nice privileges and perks, right? How long has Denzel been fully famous? He been fam- He got famous before, I think, you swam up out of your daddy's nutsack. I- I'm going to be honest. It's <laughs> my daddy, why'd you leave after you let me out your nutsack? You ain't even stick around. You said, he out my nuts. See ya. <laughs> Deuces. He went and saw a Denzel movie that, when I was growing up. <laughs> growing listen, up. He what was been, Glory, 1986? Yeah, Glory was, and he was already low-key famous before Glory. That was just like his Christ first. Freedom? Was um, he famous then? I don't know, but I know he was already doing um, Broadway. So he was famous to an extent mm-hmm. prior to mm-hmm. an Oscar nomination. So he like, got that Oscar from Glory in 1989. So he's already winning an Oscar. Yes. And that's 20 years ago? 30 years ago? Uh, yeah. 30? Yes. 1989? Yeah, 31 years. Okay, so let me find out how old John David is. Because he, he, yeah. he playing out here, playing in our faces. Yeah, how old John is David? John David born 1984. Boy, oh, come on. So, stop. L- l- really, sir? <laughs> so I think there's something that has to do with when you grow up with a lot of priv- privilege, you feel like you have to prove to the world that it's not just the privilege that's got you where you mm-hmm. are. You can do the hard work. And when you don't grow up privileged, you looked at those people like, why? 
Why you want to do it? <laughs> Why? Oh, I don't know y'all calling. My dad is <laughs> Come on. I just like, I wish, I wish that I found out one of my relatives actually had some cachet, actually had some like, ah, uh, some like skin in the game that I could use. Well, you know what? I don't know. I feel like it might be different for you because you don't really respect Denzel as an actor. So, ah, oh, like, okay, it's like a okay, story. Josh, ah, okay, Josh, what happened? Can I say something? Okay, Josh, you know what? Overrated. I did overrated. not. Overrated. <laughs> you did say he was overrated. No, but I didn't say I didn't like him. I no, said you, said you didn't respect him. No, I did not say that either. That's what he said. Oh, no, that's how oh, I Oh, you just said he was overrated. Yeah, I said he's still in my top five. He's just not number one. Who's your top five? I know Jeffrey Wright is number one. Okay, let's see if I have to tell you I again. know Jeffrey Wright number one. You And Denzel's in there. Who's the other three? Um, I am a huge fan of Don Cheadle's work. Love Don Cheadle. I am actually a huge fan, even though a lot of people think he's overrated, of Jamie Foxx's work. I love Jamie Foxx. He can do no wrong. Oh, well, look at that. I, I think Jamie is... One of my favorite entertainers ever. He has my favorite stand-up comedy joke of all time. The pure, break, the Jamie Foxx. I could not sing R and B because oh, I grew up man. in church. Yeah, I had to R and Bify yes. uh, TV songs and yeah. then singing Brady Bunch. That bit is my favorite joke of all. It's time. It's great. It's great. No one else can do that joke. Yeah, if only you him. Can't sing and play, and you didn't grow up churchy. It won't you work. Can't do, you can't even steal that. He's amazing. I just think he's amazing. And love, then I would say. Jamie. Um, probably who's probably actually my number five because my number five King Wax and Wayne is probably like a Lawrence Fishburne. I don't think he gets enough credit for. I don't think so either. His especially if you look at his entire career, mm -hmm. that man had done some things. Especially now, he, him on Blackish, mm -hmm. so different from like him as Morpheus or him in John Wick, yeah, or him as uh Furious Styles and Boys he, in the Hood. Like he has done so many different things, and so while wow, yes, Denzel's in my top five. He's just I know for a lot of people that is their number one, and I'm yeah. like he's more like maybe like three for me. Number three and overrated. Who are you, who are your oh women your women actresses? Who are your favorite actresses? You know what? I'm gonna tell you why this is harder for me. It's because I know that black actresses do not get enough opportunities yeah. to show their range. Yep, yep. So it's harder for me to be like, ah, I, I love that. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> Regina, Regina King has been on there for a majority her. of my life. Yep. Um I uh, of course, like most people, I do love Angela Bassett. But I, again, I feel like she is only given certain types yep. of roles. She kills, but she hasn't. She hasn't been like Robert De Niro got to be uh, in Meet the Parents, Meet the Fockers. Yeah, meet the parents both. They haven't given Angela Bassett that nothing like role. that. They, yeah. It's just oh, you're good at this, do this, right? right? But within what she's been given, she's killed. She, as she does Tina well. Turner to to uh, uh, Catherine Jackson right. to you know Black Panther to. I don't watch this, but a lot of people watch American Horror Story. Uh huh. Say she kills on Did that. She? I don't watch scary movies. I don't watch scary TV shows. I don't, I don't, I don't you not do? That. You don't do that? Mm -hmm. No, Jesus no, no. It's not in the middle. <laughs> so, but uh, I know she's she's. I'm sure she's amazing. Like yeah. That. Okay, so that's what. That's two, two so far. Um, obviously Viola is a beast. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm trying to think of who else I would put up there. There. There's just so it's so, so hard because they're also not making it very it's easy. It's okay if they're for, not black. You can like Meryl Streep. You can like. I mean, of course, yeah. No, Meryl is obviously she's a goat. Like, mm -hmm. but she's also been able to do whatever she, she wants Violet to do. David said that if you if you respect me like Meryl, give me where's my Devil Wears product? Yeah, Meryl has been able to do everything, and she's shown that she's good at all of the things. I freaking love her. So it still that's four. I don't know who I would put in my the fifth spot. I think that would leave that one rotating because there are some also comedic actresses that I know could smash yeah. a serious role, but they are not about to let them over there. They're gonna have to fight tooth and nail mm -hmm. to get like a Regina good. Regina King is like that for me. Mm -hmm. I feel like since Scary Movie to, um, I'm sorry, Regina King, Regina. You said so it right, Regina, Regina King. No, no, Oh, you Hall. mean Regina Hall Regina from Scary? Hall. Oh yeah, Scary Movie is from Regina scary Hall. Scary Movie to her video with Kevin Hart. When she did this, yes, she's I, a fool. That was better than some fool movies. <laughs> I'm talking about Will Ferrell and Kevin Hart's uh, Walk Hard or whatever that was, where mm -hmm. he was going to prison. He was preparing yeah, yeah. Him. that sketch with them two, where Regina King said, "Who's a pretty girl? Here she is." <laughs> when she did Angel, I watched that video so many times. She, 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 she did that. 
I was like, this woman is hilarious. She's, she's hysterical. She's hysterical. And I think there are a lot of funny women out there. Like, even regardless of what you think about her, I think Monique has so much range. Monique, oh, she, she's such an infuriating enigma because, uh, because she's a black woman, right? And I'm going to take a little... I was with Monique. I just didn't want to boycott Netflix. Right. Yeah, right? yeah. But because if the Parker, she was funny. That show hasn't aged well because of fat phobia and like Dorian, bro. I yeah. respect you, but Monique was not going to have to be chasing after you. Right. At that time in her life. Yeah. Very funny. Uh, her stand-up I always liked. But I love her stand-up. In Precious, I was like, this woman can do no. Yeah. I mean, she was like. Not only did she give you, she. This is what I love about that character. She's not just rage. Yeah. Right. Yeah. She's hurt. Mm-hmm. Who Who's gonna love me? Yeah. That is a reason to lash out at Precious more than anything. Like yeah. that reasoning that she gave, like that angst towards Precious, was rooted in hurt and yeah. fear. Right. That's more dangerous than just. I'm mad. I'm yeah. going to act mad, right? When I was in acting class, they would be like, no one acts mad. No. You don't play mad. No. What you do is you act be- out of fear, out of jealousy, out of, you know, uh, um, uh, well, a lot of them are those two. Um, <laughs> you were like, you know what I mean? Like, those, that but it's again. not like, I'm mad at you, mm-hmm. right? When Melissa upsets me, I'm not mad at her. I feel disrespected. Yeah. I feel belittled, whatever. Like, mm-hmm. those are the feelings you have to tap in. And well, Monique, uh, <laughs> since you since you got your degree, yeah, and you know everything, she, she just she murdered that. I can't, and, and that's the same thing with um, Niecy Nash. She's someone who everybody knew was Niecy. funny, and then people get to see the layers. That's I I wish people got to see more comedic actresses do serious mm-hmm. stuff. People would be very shocked because what people don't realize is that it's a lot harder to do comedy. So much harder. It's a lot harder. So much harder. A lot of comedians are also funny as, um, hold on, this is... No, I don't mean comedians. No. The, the stage crew just said Joe Biden selected Kamala as his running mate. Good for him. Now, granted, black folk are not going to support him anymore, but I am excited. <laughs> Man. I am excited he chose a black woman. I don't care what people think about her. Give her a chance to a try again. Give her a chance to try again. Dust yourself off it. <laughs> yeah. That it, I did not think he was gonna do that. That was the prayer in my heart that he would uh, that he would choose Kamala. I was hoping that's the reason why she dipped out of her um, run early. Yeah, I was hoping. I thought when she dropped it, I was like, "Girl, you gone already?" Yeah, I was hoping that she was saving up her funds to be able to jump onto his ticket. I'ma tell you what, you are anti-black, you are anti-woman. If you don't <laughs> Joe, vote for Joe Biden and Kamala, I don't care who's on the independent ticket. Man. I don't care who's on the green ticket or whatever these other tickets are. Give that woman a Would chance you to try have again. Kamala or or Stacey um, Abrams or Liz Kamala. Warren. You would? Mm-hmm. Nah, forget Liz. She ain't I black. think Stacey Abrams is doing more work where she's at. Like I like where she is. I don't want to take yeah. her from there. Kamala ain't. Like, uh, we don't need her in California. California is already kind of running itself the way it needs to be. Stacy, uh, Georgia needs Stacy. I wanted her to win so badly when she was running. Yeah. I was like, Jesus, please. Yeah. You know, but. Yeah, I need for tight. I need for her to become the governor of Georgia. Georgia needs Stacy. We don't need um, we don't need Kamala. Out Do you here. think he's she's going to be enough to. No. <laughs> No, I don't. I still don't see them winning. I want them to win. I do. I want them to win so bad. Um, but I just know that some people, they will find a reason not to vote for her being on the ticket. I mean, they drug that woman so bad during her campaign. Stacey or Kamala? Kamala. Oh, she got. They drug her so bad. On Twitter, which is the mean girls of the internet, mm-hmm. I did not know much about her um before mm-hmm. right i was very excited and i was on twitter and i was like oh people feel strongly against her mm-hmm. um one thing that i kind of i don't be on facebook that much mm-hmm. and i i the one reason i would want to spend more time on there is to see how the other world 
Think, yeah, right? that's because yeah. Twitter is very different. It is than than what I would call day by day America. Facebook yeah. be a different world. It is. Uh, like on on Twitter, Joe Biden this he's this. On Facebook, mm-hmm. aunties and them, Joe is great. Right. They don't be upset by his gaffes nearly mm-hmm. as much. Yeah, but I just don't scroll Facebook that much to to get the vibe as uh-huh. much. Um. <sighs> Oh, my goodness. I just remembered I had a dream. I'll have to tell you about it later. It's so off topic, but I just remembered, so I don't forget. But I am I, I am excited for Kamala to get another chance at the White House. I'm excited for hopefully what she can add to his campaign. Mm-hmm. Do I think it's enough? No, I, I, I think Joe is at such a deficit that... He was winning. Yeah, yeah, that's what they say. We can't trust these goddamn right, polls. I told of that too. She be on NPR. You can't every trust these day, polls. And I be like, no. Melissa, that also happened the first time. She's yes. like, no, no, they adjust. And I was like, no. I don't believe in nothing you until can't tr- the day is over. You can't trust these polls. And what I mean by a deficit is that we don't need the people who are already going to vote for Joe mm-hmm. just because they're like, I can't do this option. Yeah. We need the people who still are under the impression that the option we currently have in office is suitable. Yeah. And Joe does not offer enough for us to feel as though, for those people, I think, to feel that like, oh, he's going to have our back. He's going to be the one that we can depend on to change things when... um when it's time. So I, I just don't, I don't really, I don't believe that he's going to be able to do it at all. I, I don't either. I don't know if that's me being cynical or uh, just whatever. I feel like he just, I, I just. Have I you ever worked on a campaign before? Have you ever me? supported? Like did. Like on the ground? Yeah. Or like sent out mailers? Mm-mm. Well, I can tell you now that he might not be using this, but you all should use ShipStation. Because um, as folks adapt to the changing world, we're all going to be buying more stuff online and more than ever before. And if you're an in, in e-commerce seller, you're going to be ready to meet the demands of our new delivery world and mm-hmm. delivery culture. And that's yeah. a part of like politics. You got to be sending out stuff. You yes. know what I'm saying? So be ready with ShipStation at, at uh, excuse me, be ready with ShipStation. ShipStation. It makes me want to cuss. It does. <laughs> It works so well. I'm trying not to say their name wrong. <laughs> Ship Station helps online sellers of any size get orders out quickly and save money on shipping costs and keep customers happy. Yeah. Um. I know you all. Have you all used them? We, Ship Station saved my life. Oh, tell me um, why. We we were trying to do. We had the. These are on Etsy. These are on this. Mm-hmm. These are on that. Pull from this. Pull from that. Pull from this. And it was just too, too much. much. And ShipStation organized that for us. Mm. And we just boom, 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 boom. And without them, it would have been qu- quite the headache. And unfortunately, like it or not, we, little guys, we're competing with the Amazons of the yeah. world. Because, because Amazon gets it to you so fast, right. people start to expect that. So now five to seven day shipping is like, y'all slow. And like, bro, <laughs> we, like a, I'm we don't have a whole world. It's just us little people. right? So ShipStation allows us to move much more quickly which allows us to be able to compete. Well, th- see, it doesn't matter what you're selling, as Kev said, whether it be on e- Amazon, Etsy, or your own website. ShipStation brings all of your orders into one simple interface, making them really easy to manage from any device, even your cell phone. ShipStation works with all the major carriers, including USPS, FedEx, U- UPS, and even Amazon Fulfillment. So you can... P- Compare and choose the best shipping solution for you and your customer. And right now, here's the thing listeners can try ShipStation for free Mm -hmm. for 60 days when you use our offer code RR. RR. Make sure your business is ready to meet the demands of delivery culture. Now get started at ShipStation.com today and you can click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and type in RR. RR. That's ShipStation.com. Then enter the offer code RR. 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 (laughs) ShipStation.com. Make ship happen. Oh, I struggled over those words, but we're here. Aren't we? We're here now. We're here. Man, okay, I did not think he was gonna pick Kamala. I was hoping, I really did. I mean, because he know couldn't it, have picked Elizabeth Warren. I liked Elizabeth Warren a lot. He couldn't pick her. No, just white and white, old and white. Yeah, it's like same, 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 same. same I same. feel like maybe because he's been messing up with the black people so much, he was like, well, I got to do something. He needed to. I, if he ever thought he was going to do anything other than black, he was stupid. I don't know what he. I, if he ever thought be it better, if he would just hush. 
Right, of course. He it's he like throws landmines on the ground and then walks into them. Yeah. It's like, bro, you <laughs> you nobody's even like go with 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 Charlemagne with this the, the gaff last week. Uh-huh. It's like they're not even pushing him into these things. Right, He's right. just like, I want to mess up now. Here yeah. it goes. Boom. And Trump was like, blacks, look at him. Right. I would never take that. And it's right. just like, Joe, yeah. you yeah. want to blow this, he, don't you? I, he's I don't messing know. up. He is messing up. But I, I definitely don't feel like the people who we need to convince in these swing states, Joe is not saying enough to them. It's not black folk. Like, Again, we uh, we only have so much power to swing a vote. We only make up 13 percent and not all 13 percent of us are voting. Okay, point blank in a goddamn on period. (laughs) So it's not us. He has to worry about it's the white folk Mm -hmm. that are like, are you really we we do coal. (laughs) Do you know anything about coal? You think Kamala will help with that? No, that's what I'm saying. Oh. They're still going to lose. Oh, that, I, <laughs> you were saying the other thing. Yeah, yeah. Got I'm it. saying why I don't. This is the reason why I don't think even with Kamala on there, I think it's great for us as people, as not just black people, but people of color to see her on the ticket, to see her being pushed forward. And maybe that might make the Gen Zers be like, OK, we'll get behind you because you are actually going to make something happen right. by putting a black woman in office. But the people who swing this vote, you know, what would be great. I know what? this doesn't work like this. First of all, a Pence Kamala debate. Your boy is out of here. Yeah. If 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 Joe was like, I'm, a, I'm sick. I'm gonna let you debate Kamala, bruh. Yeah, he Trump ain't gonna have nothing for her. I know, right? He's gonna have he, to sit all the way down. She is sharp. She mm-hmm. is she is mm-hmm. sarcastic with. She is educated. Yeah, she ain't taking no crap. She ain't just no placeholder. Right, right. You no, know, um, I feel like Biden gives you so many gas. It's easier to Sleepy Joe. He be in there like I know. <laughs> they be in there looking. Oh, Joe be looking. Old. He is old. He is old. And so was Bernie. Bernie was over there looking like the Crypt Keeper. (laughs) Listen, I don't think Joe really wanted to run, but he was like, what other options do we have? What other options? I do. Listen, if you are, this is what I say to folk. If y'all people really don't want four more years of our current administration, they cannot complain about the option yeah. we have i mean complain silently but in public you got to support that dude you got to be like it's okay he, he didn't you know what he meant have you seen that rihanna gif when she throws the paper <laughs> no <laughs> there's a picture of her uh, uh if you can find it josh please where rihanna throws a paper she's like Ugh. and that's uh somebody was like this is me voting for biden <laughs> yes yes that's fine <laughs> just do it with a smile <laughs> you, you know what this election cycle this whole year one thing i want to say i I just want this to be over please you want to be over i want this to be over why you want to be over things are politicized already more politicized Uh during an election year which brings me to my next thought Mm -hmm. uh cardi b and meg we'll get to that in a second Mm -hmm. this has been the longest election cycle of my entire life you feel like it's been going on yes i want it to be done yeah um, I lost my train of thought because I was so just like, bro, I'm I'm tired <laughs> it's a of lot. it. It's I a am lot. just so, t- and I've paid attention from the beginning, mm-hmm. right? So I was on when Castro and Cory Booker and Klobuchar. It was like I was on everybody. Elizabeth Warren. I thought she was going farther. She had that student loan thing. I was <laughs> like, man, if you could help me, uh-huh. right? Help me personally, yeah. Kevin. Right, this me, just me, me. <laughs> just me, God. <laughs> I know what you did for others, but I ain't had no parents that helped me with the college. Come on, it's me. Elizabeth it's me, it's was me, like, oh, we Lord. trying to wipe that out. I said, what you talking? Yeah, no, she was talking good game. I said, he dub. What you saying? He said, no student. Loan. I said, for who? For me? <laughs> for me? A whole me? You talking, talking about no student loan? Listen. Listen. Yeah, no, that was that was hot right there. And they got her up out of there. Oh yeah, I knew she wasn't gonna last. Bless her heart. <sighs> That short haircut, you know, they don't be really feeling the women. White women's hair is rarely long when they're old. Um, My wife pointed that out to me. It's really old. It's really, I was supposed to say really old. It's really long when they're powerful. <laughs> they ain't got time for that. That's why these superhero women don't make no sense. She ain't got no time to be curling her hair. Give her that good old lesbian cut. <laughs> Give her that good short I'm a serious oh, white lesbian cut. She, got, she ain't got no time for no foolishness. But yeah, I didn't think... Uh, I, I I did like 
I loved Elizabeth. And yeah. if I thought she had, if I thought she had a real chance, she would have been who I would have went with. Yeah. In the primaries. That, isn't that a crazy thing? You got to vote for who you think has to win, not uh, not who you necessarily want. That's the game of it's it. It's just like Julian Castro. I was like, bro, I like what you're talking. Mm -hmm. Andrew Yang had some good policies. That everybody thought was crazy till that stimulus package became a thing. Dang. And Andrew was like, this is I literally my whole thing. I did it. The thousand. That was me. People yeah. need a thousand. Like, yeah. Shut up. You're out of this now. Yeah. Um, so that's interesting. But there's so many more people in the world than mm -hmm. just you and I, Josh. There the way we you go. Think. You know, yeah. there's my mom. There's my aunties they're not on twitter bro exactly. like twitter is the smallest thing i spend the most time there so it starts to make you think a lot of people are thinking like that very rarely the case mm -hmm. people went in there and said t-r-u-m-p and yes. walked out and was like it is crazy huh you know my mother's political point of view is mm -hmm. whatever i tell her it is that is <laughs> that is a lot of older generation black folk too it's what did you tell them <laughs> So you think they're about to be all passionate, like, come on, don't you know we got to get them out of office? They're like, who? Who's there? Who we, baby, tell me, what was it? <laughs> oh, who is Obama it? still there? <laughs> they can't pronounce Kamala's name. Yeah. Oh, they no. like, who? The, she about to be KK. Come on, little KK. <laughs> my grandma still calls me that at my big age. Little KK? She, hey, KK, I'm sorry. I'm not supposed to say that. But if you do that all every time, just call it. <laughs> just call me. If You know you're not sorry. Yeah, just, you know, just, just call it with confidence. I... I <laughs> Hey, KK, how you doing? You know, I love you more than you ever know. That's her thing. <laughs> I, I love it. My grandma sent me an emoji the last time I texted. I said, who taught you emojis? Mm -hmm. She sent me a gift. She, she gave you a good old emoji. What she, type? Hearts, heart Aww. eyes, little hearts. That's her. That's her uh, recent emoji. That's her thing. Uh -huh. Heart stuff. Oh, yeah. She's here for it. She's all in for the mm -hmm. heart stuff. But I, I do love her. She's 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 great, man. She, um. It's kind of crazy because when I was young, she seemed so old because she was so mean. Yeah. Now I realize she was like 38. Right. Listen, ain't that crazy? <laughs> ain't that crazy when you realize like you're either the age or older than the age of like the adults that were in your life? That like when you remember? blows my mind. Melissa's mom. See, when I met Melissa, she's 16. She's, so that's 21 years ago when I met Melissa. So her mom was like, Melissa's mom had her at. 18 mm. okay so oh math problem coming and, and no no so headache. that would be 34 so, when you met melissa okay okay cool so that's you saw for why um <laughs> <laughs> i am 37 you Mel older our parents they just didn't seem to be playing no game right they seem smart like they had everything to it yes. like they were the beginning and the end and it was like they had bills. Yeah. You know, they had put gas in this stuff. And now I'm at that age. I literally spent last night watching a movie about farts and stuff with my kids <laughs> right. for an hour and a half. Yeah. Like my dad wasn't doing that. Right. He was doing hard time at work. Yeah. My dad came home from work like <sighs> the stress of the world. Bro. That's what racism will do. Real strong racism will make you man up real quick. Get serious. I be wanting to tell my kids all the time, I want you to know I'm winging this. I don't I want oh, when you get to my age, I don't want you to feel like I should have it all together. Your mom is 40, she's making it up. Okay, <laughs> she's making it all up every morning. Little did we know our parents closed that door and they were like, What? I don't know. <laughs> 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 we just be hoping for the best. They be telling us stuff, but they didn't know. It was like, mm -hmm. oh no, that's what I, I think it's supposed to be the thing that happens. I don't know. We be winging it with these kids. Oh, it's, I'm talking about no leg, no thigh, no breath. Uh, all wing, all wing. Improv queen of the day. <laughs> Improv queen. I'd be like, yeah, that, yeah, that seems like, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just like my grandma wasn't, she wasn't smiling that much. <laughs> this is, that's racism. That'll do it. Oppression. And poverty. Yes. Oh yeah. Absolutely. She's like, you gotta feed all these kids. Listen, we had a three bedroom house. I posted a picture on my Instagram the other day. Me and my brother were super young, and my mom was young. We had three bedroom house. Mm -hmm. Okay, we had my grandma, great grandma, mom, uncle, uncle, aunt. That's what six. Mm -hmm. Kevin, Jason, Michelle. Mm -hmm. That's nine. Golly. Dog and a dog. Y'all okay. had the nerve to have three a dog. Three bedroom house. Whew. All the boys in one. Okay, me and my uncle split the bottom bunk. Other uncle, Jason, top bunk. Other room, mom, aunt, 
sister, oh. great grandma. Oh, Jesus. And then the room by herself, my grandma, because she paid all the bills. She's she like, put what her I know. mom in the room. Did you Did you pay? Your Social Security didn't cover it? Mm-hmm. Get in that room with them. <laughs> get, in, oh, get in that room. Get in there. Get Have a your, sleepover, because you ain't sleeping in here. <laughs> get your old butt. I'm not sharing. I don't care how many people. Y'all can stay with me. Love yeah, you. Yeah. Plenty of rice. Right. Plenty of beans. <laughs> go around peanut butter. You remember when we was young, Angel? Peanut butter was, ain't no jiffy. No. Ain't no skip. No. Skippy. Yes. Ain't, peanut butter, big as this desk. <laughs> can I, you know why kids months. were strong? Getting that <laughs> peanut butter thing, 30 pounds. <laughs> Why? Why did I go to buy that yesterday with my son in the store? The generic big old thing of peanut butter, and he said, "Oh, mom, look at that." The, you, I remember we got Jif once. <laughs> he literally said that. I was like, "Oh, okay." Poor I kids were strong because that yeah. peanut butter. You remember, Angel? Okay, this quarter was oil. Yeah. Okay, the top was metal. No, uh-huh, you, you got had to, to pull crank the it off. Back. Crank That's where that boy. poor kid strength come from. You five years old. Okay, now to get that peanut butter, you got to get it yes, going. Yeah, stir it up. Stir got, it up. Stir, stir up the gif. <laughs> stir up the gif. Come on. <laughs> stir up the gif. You got yeah. to get this thing going. You can't just go make a sandwich. No. You got to have prep time. A yeah. peanut butter and jelly with this bread. Yeah. And this, this 20 minutes. Come on. You get it warmed up. The, listen. <sighs> that was Jim. That's uh, uh the government cheese cutting through it. Oh. That's why I got these strong traps. <laughs> Cause you got to, you got to come down. That cheese was like, get off me, get off me. I ain't finna be, that government cheese was like barely cheese. It's, oh yeah, I don't know what that was made of. I have no idea, but I used to love it. I used to come down like the Thor hammer on that sucker. I was like, I'm getting into this cheese. Oh yeah, my but God. my kids, I actually had a moment yesterday, and I know we're going to get to the next topic, okay. where I was at my son's school, we were getting all of his books for middle school, and we went to the PSA table, and she was like, if you all want any spirit gear, um, you can buy it at the student store, and it was, so it was like hoodies and backpacks and stuff like that, and um, and so I was like, son, do you want something? He was like, I want a hoodie, and it was $25 cash, and I bought it, and then when I walked away, my son didn't know, I almost cried, because I remember my mother... A spirit gear. Oh my God. You better have the Holy Spirit. That's the only <laughs> gear you getting today. I promise you, Angel. I remember I was a varsity. <laughs> I was on varsity at Lakes High School. I said, Ma, can I get the jacket? What jacket? Things <laughs> eighty five dollars. Are you out your mind? They gave me the letter. I just held it. I was like, Man, can we put this on the jacket? Melissa had her. She had her name in it. Everybody on the varsity had. I had a varsity. I had the letter because they gave you. The, they gave you the letter. I you can, just got to hold it. I have no leather. I have no That's nothing. Good. Got the I letter try to tape it to my hoodie like, <laughs> I can't prove nothing to nobody. I would think I was on scholarship on band because my mother just wasn't paying. We they would know. send the bill and they would be like, Angel's too good to let her go. Just keep her. <laughs> was $18. It's too much. Uh, but the next thing, we're going to talk about Cardi B next, right? And WAP. Yeah. Okay, so, but it, before we get into the WAP, let's talk about what you want to put in that WAP. And you can put something in that WAP because of Blue Chew. Blue Chew is a sponsoring this episode, and we thank them, wrong. okay? Guys, remember the days when you were always ready to go? Oh now you can increase your performance and get that extra confidence in bed. Then listen up. BlueChew.com. That's blue mm-hmm. like the color blue, okay? Yes. Blue Chew brings you the first chewable with the same FDA-approved active ingredients as Viagra and Cy- uh, Cialis. Blue Chew is prescribed online by licensed physicians, mm-hmm. so you don't have to go to the doctor's office or wait in line at the pharmacy. It discreet, ships... Discreet, It's very discreet. Coming in on the sneak tip. That was very. it. This is my special stuff. It's don't my worry sp- about it. <laughs> this is for me. This is for me and your mother. Yeah, don't worry about it. And don't you ch- come now. You better <laughs> knock on that door. I done told my kid. Listen, JoJo done popped in a couple times. Oh no! Oh, I, done, I advise you to not. <laughs> you know, Daddy on that Blue Chew Tuesday. You understand me? You Blue come Chew in here. Tuesday. You want to know where babies come from? Keep on opening this door without knocking. I'm gonna show you where you came from. It was this position. Oh. <laughs> Well, listen, right now, we've got a special deal for our listeners. Visit BlueChew.com and get your first shipment free when you use our special promo code RR. RR, RR, RR. Just pay $5 shipping. Again, that is B-L-U-E, Chew.com, promo code RR. RR. To try it free. Blue Chew is the better, cheaper, faster choice, and we thank them for sponsoring this podcast. Thank you, Blue Chew, for the sponsorship and the erection. 
We appreciate you. You never. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we talked about Cardi B and Meg mm-hmm. on the bonus episode. Yes. Okay. Since then, their song has garnered even more mm-hmm. um, notoriety. Notoriety. Uh huh. Okay. Now, before we get to this, before we get to Meg the Stallion, let's talk about Lucille Bogan. Oh yeah, that's Lucille my type of shit. Lucille Bogan, the Lucille the Stallion. Shave them dry. Now, yeah. I, listen, I, Josh, you can't even put these lyrics in. No, I was telling Josh, I said, man, you can't, I, and then I thought about it. I was like, he, you couldn't bleep it. No. Okay? Let me tell you what Lucille Bogan's lyric, 1936. Come on. Lucille Bogan, y'all find it on your own. Listen to it on your own. Parental advisor, explicit lyrics, explicit. content before they even had it. She said that these are the lyrics. If you're a child, you shouldn't even be watching this podcast. All right. 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 Said, I got nipples on my titties. <laughs> That's right. how she started the song off. Big as the end of my thumb. I got something between my legs that'll make a dead man come. Oh, I said, Lucille. Come on, a dead man. Lucille. Okay, baby, won't you shave them dry? I want you to grind me, baby. Grind me until I cry. Uh, I All night. Okay, all and night. she said it. All night. Oh, she God. said that F word strong. No, huh? Yes, okay, she and did. the night before, and I feel like I want to. Some, some more. more. Come oh, on. Grind me, honey. Shave me dry. Josh, you at least got to put your Lucille. Put a picture of Lucille right here. The whole time we talking, Josh, you got to put her there. And when you hear me, uh, holla, baby, won't you shave me dry? Okay. Um, uh, there's a little more. Oh, daddy, shave me dry. I'll give you something, baby. Swear to make you dry. I'm going to turn back my mattress hey. and let you on my springs. I want you to grind me, daddy, until the bells do ring. Oh, baby. Yeah. I want you to shave me dry. I love to shave <laughs> me dry. Okay. Now, shave here, Lucille dry. was out here. Come on. Give my me out here. <laughs> give me the out here because I love it. Now, if was the thing uh. that would take me to heaven, I'd be... In the studio till the clock strike 11. Hey, shave me dry. Come shave on. Shave me dry. I'm here for it. Uh, L- Lucille. We still going? Last last little stanza. Now your nuts hang down. Hey, Like hey. a dang bell sapper. Ding and dong. your stands up like a steeple. You a various cuss words. <laughs> Stands open like a church door and the crab walk in like people. Oh, won't you <laughs> shave me dry? dry. Yeah. Shave so the dry. reason I bring up Lucille the Stallion, mm-hmm. people were like, music yeah. nowadays nah. is just wrong. Nah. Let me tell you what. Shave me dry. WAP ain't got nothing. Oh, not on Lucille. Now, Lucille, if you see in the picture here, Lucille did that with a full bonnet. <laughs> okay. Full <laughs> press and curl. Ready. Lucille. Okay. Sulfur 8. Greased up them curls. Listen, Lucille <laughs> shuck them peas, then she shuck that penis. Oh, uh, yeah. She said, same motion, same motion. <laughs> yeah, she said, I can she, do it all. Lucille had the fur. She had the... The cap, and she had the lyrics that'll make your daddy snap. This girl was talking about <laughs> sex. Yeah. Oh, no, she wasn't just talking about sex. She was talking about effing. <laughs> That's what she was talking about. She's like, let's be clear what I'm trying to do. <laughs> the people act like this. The, the, the people been talking this nasty for forever. Solomon in the Bible was talking about shave me dry. Okay? <laughs> Solomon was talking about garden. He ain't talking about no soil. When he no, said, let that... me eat your garden, he was, girl, he, he talking about that cootie cat. Cootie, cootie. Solomon said, I got to lick that thing. That thing with that one-eyed cat. I said, hey, Mr. One-Eye, I got one-eyed too. He li- <laughs> Listen, there's nothing new under the sun, but, but. WAP is giving me Luke Mm-hmm. Energy. Yeah. Remember Luke came out and, and the politicians were oh, like. Oh, they were angry. Oh, uh, and, and and Cardi B and Meg have reminded me of 90s rap, mm-hmm. p- parental advisory explicit content stickers. This, what about the children? Yeah. And music now. It's been a while. It's been, I haven't had a song like this since my neck. My big mm. lick my mm, and mm, my, my crack. Th- 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 <laughs> roll your tongue from the bag back to the front. Then you <laughs> make sure I keep busting. Okay, I ain't go. I've done it on karaoke. You see her? Ain't you see the earrings? Angels got big 
ratchet energy today. Better than did. usual. With her uh, blackest king uh, yes. uh, rat and shirt. I, I am both, honey. Okay. <laughs> I, I love it all. Let's go to Africa. But that's also twerk on the way there. But yeah, we haven't had a song like this. Like, mm. let's talk about what's betwixt our legs and talk about it with such pride and what we're going to do with it since yeah that my neck my back and i i needed it in my life i needed it absolutely <laughs> absolutely but i get why people would be like oh you shouldn't listen to it well don't well there's so much there's conservatives banned for uh the song there's black men banned for the song and there's this guy who has the most annoying voice in the world on earth I'm ben telling. shapiro i'm just gonna play this for you please is it better if hear. i just play it now josh and you put it up or what how's the best way to do is that best um yeah i usually turn this volume down and then turn and then do it up that volume up okay so for the patreon i'll play it. as long as it just plays through cleanly okay because if you start stuttering we can't talk i'm not going to talk <laughs> Here are some of the lyrics. You ready? Whores in this house. There's some whores in this house. There's some whores in this house. There's some whores in this house. Hold up. I said certified freak seven days a week. Wet P word. Make that pullout game weak. Yeah, you effin' with some wet P word. P word is female genitalia. Bring a bucket and a mop for this wet P word. Give me everything you got for this wet ass P word. Beat it up N word. Catch a charge. Extra large and extra hard. Put this P word right in your face. Swipe your nose like a credit card. Hop on top, I want to ride. I do a Kegel while it's inside. Spit in my mouth, look in my eyes. This P word is wet. Come take a dive. It continues uh, along these lines. Uh, and it gets significantly, significantly more vulgar. Like a, a lot more vulgar. Talk your S word, bite your lip. Ask for a call while you ride that D word. You really ain't never going to F him for a thing. He already made his mind up before he came. Now get your boots and your coat for this wet P word. Pay my tuition just to kiss me on this wet P Right, so this is D, guys. Oh, God. Okay. It's Josh, not just bleep the word right before the P word. He got beat up. It, the... Can you imagine during sex? Beat it up, in word. Beat it up, in word. He, he yeah. literally is a loser uh that voice was just terrible he made i mean it's hard to twerk to him saying he's it. he's ruining it it's i was like no p words across the nation are drying up with every syllable he speaks like, oh, just, never mind. <laughs> just i'm gonna go to bible study now. i would ban the song too if he was the one performing it i'd be like this is ungodly shut it down shut it down shut, shut it, it all down. the way down it sounds like when you when you have um like script writing software and mm. you, you want them to read it back to you. That's exactly what, what it sounds like. Sounds like, oh, you got a script. His, so he said, uh, he tweeted after that, as I discussed on my show, my only real concern is that the women involved who apparently require a bucket and a mop get the medical care <laughs> they require. My <laughs> doctor's wife's differential diagnosis, bacterial vaginosis, yeast infection, or trichomonasis? Trichomonasis? Trick daddy. Trick no, uh, is it, the more you say it, the further away from the word Tri I get. <laughs> Trigonomious. No. Trigonometry. Trigonosis. 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 I don't, I don't know. I'm Ozymosis. Ozymandias. Oh my gosh. Anyway, his wife went into her room and listened to it, and she said, "One day, I I would like to have well, one." She's I manifesting like as we speak. She's manifesting a wop. I, I would like a little bit of it. As <laughs> when he's can you during sex? Who is who, who's 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 P word? Who is this? Who's P word? Oh, I like this is? wet a p. Ah. <laughs> Would you agree that this is my P word? Would you? Are you okay saying that this is my P word? Do you mind uh, if I beat it up or a little bit? Of, I won't beat it up. I would massage it a little bit. Oh, uh, the voice! Pre previously, if I could just. You can't talk dirty with that voice! You Ain't absolutely can't. Do you mind can't. if I would like to sexually touch you in a consensual way and maybe nipple play? Maybe you could have turned that wop into a dop real quick. All the, all the river's gonna stop flowing. Uh, uh, with that voice, God. I'd be like, uh, nope. Going somewhere. Oh. <laughs> Somebody in Patreon said, can, can you spare me a morsel of WAP? <laughs> <laughs> just, 
tiny morsel of walk. You know that picture of the, the blind mouse? Like, could oh, you could please? You please, please you ma'am, could I have some little, more? <laughs> a little morsel of wop. I would, uh, hadn't it had any in well, my whole life. <laughs> Ben's voice is what is the, on the intercom in hell. <laughs> <laughs> Him reading those words is playing on the intercom in hell. That is what all the oh souls are listening God. to right now. Just ah. So Cardi B, uh, she had an. She actually talked about this when Jermaine Dupri brought it up like a year or two ago. Uh huh. So I'm gonna play that for you too. Okay, guys. So. I have seen a lot of people, right, that nowadays female rappers only talk about and now that Jermaine Dupree brought it up, now I'm going to say something about it, right? First of all, I rap about my pussy because she's my best friend, you know what I'm saying? And second of all, it's because it seems like that's what people want to hear. I ain't even going to front because let me tell you something. When I did be careful, people was talking mad shit at the beginning, like, what the f- is this this is not what I expected. I expected this, I expected that. So it's like, if that's what people ain't trying to hear... Then, all right, then I'm going to start rapping about my pussy again. And second of all, there's a lot of female rappers that be rapping their ass off and don't be talking about their pussy and don't be talking about, you know, getting down and dirty. And y'all don't be supporting them. Y'all don't be supporting them and they be mad dope. These bloggers don't support them. They don't give them the recognition. So don't blame that shit on us when y'all not the one that's supporting them. Okay, guys. Yeah. Hey, Josh. You're going to have fun editing that. Uh, <laughs> whoo, wish you the best. Now, with all that being said, yeah. Angel, there was another video of basically black dude saying uh, these musicians are not a good example for young black women. As a mother, uh, you don't have no girls. I don't have no you girls. You tried for the fourth one. Um, and it, it, it still didn't get one. But, but as yeah, a God. black woman, what are your thoughts on Cardi B and Meg and this song and the example for young black girls? Um... I, you know, while I get that celebrities are people that folk can look up to, mm-hmm. um, it really is on the parent to establish whatever moral code that they want to try to instill into their children. And let me tell you, I don't feel like a rapper can turn someone into a stripper. Like, mm. it's truly way more environmental stuff. It's not going to be like, I saw Car- uh, Cardi one day do a video about WAP, yeah. so now I'm going to be on the stripper or be a sex worker. Worker. So while I get, yeah, this is not something that an underage person should be watching, but then that's on you to make sure your underage child doesn't watch it. But me as a 40 year old grown woman, I'm older than the two women performing in the goddamn on video. I'm okay with it. Okay. I am straight up. Okay. I had Marcus watch it yesterday. He was just like, Oh man, we didn't seen worse than this in our lifetime. You remember uh, BT Uncut? That's exactly what he was talking about. G- uh, listen, I ain't been saved all my life. <laughs> okay, BT Uncut. Listen, there's something about being young and watching stuff you know your you're not supposed to don't. watch. Right. Listen, BT. They had a BT Uncut had a song called "What That Thing Smell Like." Oh wow! And I used to be like. I would like to know. I would, I would love to know what like? that thing. I'm mm. talking about. I used to go to church 18 times a week, <laughs> and the more church I went to, the more, the more. BT uncut. I, I was like, y'all. I used to be watching Cinemax through the do the, the fuzzy. I was be like, do the fuzzy. Was that little butt. That's be little. But my, we ain't never had Cinemax money, but sometimes that fuzzy rolled up, and that's Come me on. have a little side boob. I say, well, God, I know I ain't yeah. saved today, but I thank you for the, the <laughs> revealing. Of you, what it might be, because you done slipped through the fuzzy. Yes, you My parents something. had all of that stuff mm-hmm. locked down. I was like, okay, y'all ain't got nothing. I'm going to go to my friends. Their parents don't. Listen, the problem with growing up the way we did, y'all work so much, you don't know what we're doing. You have no you idea. Know, listen, you know what's crazy what I think about, Angel? What? Our par- at, for hours at a time. Our parents had no idea where we even were. They had man. no idea. Where just uh, trusting on planet that we gonna Earth, come back. Yeah. All we the only thing we had is be back by this time. Yep. Go. I don't care where you go. Don't act up. Don't embarrass me. Mm-hmm. My mom 
I would be riding that dog on bike to the end of the earth. <laughs> she I used to like, be going exploring. Mm-hmm. My mom had no idea where I was, they who I was with. The They'd be like, go get out of this house. Forced Leave. us out. I do not want you inside. We didn't have no GPS, no Nothing, phone. Nothing, no cell phone. I don't care. We knew the dog on streets. We knew the cut throughs. We knew yeah. how to cut through the woods. We know the streams. Yeah. We were bit by dogs. We had everything. My son just started to walk around in our neighborhood. Oh, wow. And I'd be on Apple. Tracking him. Mm-hmm. Okay, you better make that right. Because <laughs> I don't know what's and to the left. Come, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what happened, but we also, I, I know part of it is we grew up in a, I feel like we grew up more in a community. Yes, absolutely. Where other people were looking out. Yeah, we it, don't know who these people are nowadays. Neighbors? I don't know who you are. Do you are? remember like going to your neighbors and being like, do y'all have some sugar? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And ketchup? And stuff like that. I ain't and doing do you know that who now. my real dad is? <laughs> have you seen him? <laughs> Have you seen anybody look like me? Both, first of all, never. both my neighbors don't. English is not their first language, so we already mm. struggling. We already on the struggle bus. Do you know what I'm saying? Because I'm trying to say it to you, and mm. don't look like you know what I'm saying. So yeah, it's a completely different day and age, yeah. and it didn't matter how like hardcore Christian our parents were. It was still we were still if we wanted to see it. I used to go to the library, okay, and find the books. Okay, I would just read. Read. Oh, the books. Oh, yeah. Jane Austen and stuff. Oh, and freakier Austin? than Jane. There were people who were way more raunchy, way more graphic. Am, am I even thinking, of, is Jane Austen, did she write that stuff? She wrote rom- romance novels, I think. Okay. Yeah. You was in there reading that Fifty Shades of Grey? I was reading some nasty nasty. I was like, oh, is that what you can do? You know how old we are. Angel said, I, I can't get to the point. I got to read the book. I, listen. I got to have the movie. Got to create it in my in head. In my head. <laughs> it's a matter of writer. <laughs> there you go. Like, I was like, no oh, visual. What's what? And then but, he put that in. But you know what? Reading there under the Dewey Decimal System, reading but listen, smut. But listen, reading the books though, sometimes is you like try to picture it, and then you realize you're picturing the wrong position when they say something. You just like, wait a minute, her leg would have snapped that off. That can't be good for oh, that. Let's start back. So <laughs> she <leg> turned. <laughs> Her leg would have snapped. Let me back. Let, Let me, me back up. Oh, okay, off. she facing the other way. Okay, okay, that sounds more interesting. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> Yo, the, the, the visual of Angel being like that. Just hold on. Just let me pause this. But, what? No. <laughs> She, okay, let me, you carry yeah. the three. Uh, right. Oh, oh, she got it. Okay, now. And there and you go. you're dyslexic too, right? That's right. So you he's already all know. Over the place. He's all the over. Wall. Yes. I was like, wait a minute. I didn't skip a couple of words. Okay, that's why this don't make no sense. Because I would buy that. I, I don't want to have sex. If this is what we doing, <laughs> this sound painful. Don't nobody want to do this. Oh, but okay. Now I would want to do that. That makes more sense. Yes. I was struggling. Listen. Dyslexia, dyslexia is a hell of a thing when you're trying to read pornography <laughs> just not help you're like where did he put it in what office okay no that one that exists that girl said to read pornography <laughs> with dyslexia i'm yeah. struggling yeah it, listen she that's, put the vagina in the peen Hold Hold on, messing up all the foreplay that, what you can't even do that <laughs> right mama <laughs> missing a hole apparently there's another hole i uh, should have did it when does it grow in <laughs> <laughs> Woman is out of control. Joshua Gonzalez. <laughs> she can't be contained. I cannot. Can this woman is out. I'm supposed to be the out of control one. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You Angel didn't know what was you having booked. dyslexic porn moments. Oh, she yes. had to stop. Stop. Let me stop this thing. <laughs> Hold, Hold up, God. Let me get it. To, matter of fact, let me yeah. make this a fool. <laughs> Pause. Let's what draw it out. What's happening? <laughs> Let's draw it out. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. So her feet are not turned back. They're four. Ah. Uh, that, when I read Fifty Shades of Grey and Lil' Key as an adult for a book club, I had to do it a couple of times. I was like, now come on, white people. What are y'all doing? And then I was like, uh, I got them facing the wrong way. They need to give out like little model figures so that you can like put them in the position and know what is going on. I promise you. Angel's reading Fifty Grades of Shades. <laughs> this is a coloring book. Which book? I got a book about colors. Is this I, said, why? I thought y'all said Fifty Grades of Shades. <laughs> This is a book of paint. Yes. I ain't seen no, this is a picture. No, Angel, 50 Shades of Grey. Oh, oh that, you know it. what? 
That make I thought we was talking about painting walls. It was so I'm telling you, have you ever read Fifty Shades of Grey? Oh yeah. Oh you have. So no. you know, feet be everywhere. I'd be like, well, did she put her feet behind? Yeah, I try to talk to Melissa like that, but I didn't have the helicopter. Oh no. He had a whole bunch of other <laughs> he had stuff. A, he had a helicopter. Thing, yeah. I was reading, I was like, I was imagining his Seattle lost apartment. Come on. I was like, man, this dude got a he got the elevator to the the forget the sex. Yeah. I was like, he, he got, got his own helicopter. Well, that's that would help that's what helps when you have all that money. You can get women do i will i will eat my drawers if they listen if you taking me out i will eat my clothing i will eat my socks especially if my socks come from features talk about a time a mild clothing annoyance becomes a bigger problem (laughs) loose threads unraveling entire shirt rocking your shoe you just couldn't get out Socks keep slipping down. Pinhole tear becomes a third armo in a t-shirt broken zipper. To perform your best, you need to feel your best from head to toe. Yes, you do, Angel. Features has solely focused on engineering innovative high performance socks for almost 20 years 20 years (laughs) they've created a sock with a custom like fit to (laughs) prevent the issues with conventional socks no more bunching slipping friction or blisters Uh uh-huh i I need my socks uh, uh, listen we didn't see some of the trash socks you've worn you so thank God for features for you. We Holy saw your whole toe. I, feet, they ain't never had one no features. I talk. bet it hasn't. I be at my. I can't even be funny with my toes poking through. You can't <laughs> focus on nothing else. You got a hole in your sock. And your sock falling down. You be like, what? Yes, it's like your toe is heckling you. It, right. So you can't. Boom! even be, <laughs> right? He trapped. Get him off the stage. Shut. You know what? Let me get my features on. Exactly. So features are engineered to help you achieve your best every day, whether you're working out or on the go. Targeted compression acts like a hug around the arch of your foot, keeping mm-hmm. the sock in place and preventing it from bunching, slipping, or sliding down into your shoe. Work out harder, recover faster, get stronger, run faster, and look great doing it. Lifetime guarantee. Features are so durable and long-lasting that if you are unsatisfied at any point, they will give you a replacement pair. No questions asked. Yeah. See why features has become has quickly become the number one running sock in America. For listeners of Kev on Stage podcast, here's the thing. Mm-hmm. You can receive $10 off your first pair of features by going to features.com and using my code RR. RR. That's $10 off your first pair when you go to F E E. T U R E S dot com and enter promo code RR R-R. at checkout. Again, that's features.com and use our promo code RR R-R. to get ten dollars off your first pair of features. Listen, Angel, I saw Josh give you the ad notification. Uh-huh. Okay. I saw you acknowledge the ad notification. Mm-hmm. And when you went into that ad, I was like, what? Uh oh. <laughs> I was genuinely surprised. It. I was like, "Oh, what you talking?" Listen, hey, I look at more tanksly the actress. Listen, he you you threw a a, a curveball at me today when you said do all three ads. I was like, "Okay, just prepare to do them all." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's your after today. Yes, do all of the ads. Okay, Angel is hilarious. Well, thank you. She sir. is so funny. She's ridiculous. She has dyslexia. It makes it funny. When she <laughs> reads up porn. She doesn't know what happened, and she <laughs> sings very well. Thank you, sir. Um, man, this was a good choice. <laughs> good for Bridget, you. I, I know. I listen. I'm stepping into my visionaryness. I must say, this is like buying Apple stock and then being like a billion dollars. <laughs> Nice. Come man. on, like Angel somebody, Apple man, stock. She, somebody told me I was like, man, I should get Angel. She be funny, but I, 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 I knew you were funny, Angel. Thank you. I knew you were talented. Thank you, sir. But I have been much more impressed after the first couple episodes. I was like, oh, this, <laughs> oh, this girl. I be laughing for real. Thank you. That's what I'm here to do. You Kev. are very funny. Now, back to the topics. Speaking of strippers. Well, actually, I want to finish your... I want to give my thoughts. Get your thoughts out, sir. I think with this music, I I agree with you. I think... Here's what I didn't like. One of the conservative dudes on Twitter said, uh, I accidentally listened to this song. Let's let's stop. Quit lying to yourself. You, we, how do you accidentally hear a song? This is, you know this is not on the radio. Okay, you know you you had to go to YouTube. You 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 don't accidentally listen to that song. Yeah, not so, the whole song. Not the, there's some holes right there should stop you right, right. there and be like, ah, this is not <laughs> so, this is not what I wanted. Right, you just can't. 
You can't, I can't believe that you accidentally heard it. Now, here's another thing that I think is happening. This song has become a way to uh, plant your flag, yeah. right? In whatever you believe. Right. If you believe women empowerment, they should be able to talk about whatever they want. Mm-hmm. If you believe Christian values, women should be better. Yeah. If you believe uh, in artists' free expression, you should be doing this. Yeah. If you believe our kids shouldn't be listening to this, you should be doing this. <laughs> the bottom line is if I had a daughter, right, I would know like, no, I, I would think back to myself. Mm-hmm. No matter what my parents tried to do and right. listen, I went out of my way to listen to the stuff they didn't want me to. Exactly. Friday, the movie Friday, was so much more enjoyable to me because I knew I had no business watching it. <laughs> I know my parents would have killed me if they knew I was watching Friday. Right. I know my kids, as much, you can have every parental thing on the internet. You can have everything on the stuff. Mm-hmm. Them kid, When I found out that kids was typing in Google Docs, in class, mm-hmm. so it looks like they're taking notes. I uh-huh. said, these doggone kids are smart. That Ben Shapiro thing, I was listening to that when Isaiah came in. I was preparing for the podcast, and listen, and he he came down the stairs. He's like, is that Ben Shapiro? I was like, first of all, how did how, what? And he was like, I was like, I was you. How do you know this man? He's like, he be on Snapchat news. Uh, he be on news on Snapchat. I don't ever listen, but I recognize that nasally voice, and I was like. You be on the internet. Yeah. And I know. that's it. Listen, I know. They say listen to this podcast. I know my kids be watching videos with cussing in it. Oh. When I, ain't in the room. I know. <laughs> I ain't never caught you. I accidentally cussed yesterday. Did, <laughs> did he? Used it wrong and everything. I was like, if you're going to do it, at least use it right. Say it with your chest. Yeah. At least say it right. But yeah, he accidentally cussed. He surely did. I, the the is, twins are seven or six? Five. Cool. <laughs> I wanted to go. Are they only five? They're only five. Why are they only five? Because I only had them five years ago. Kevin. You really had two kids at once, and it was like, let me get a girl. I did. I tried. You had two. You you knew having twins was a possibility. I know, but I knew the Lord wouldn't curse me like that. But he gave you another boy. Yeah. He gave you Omar. Who- <laughs> <laughs> My little landlord. I was watching a clip of you and Brees the podcast. <laughs> you was holding Omar sleep. <laughs> He was like like a big ass grown man. Excuse my French laying across my chest. He don't care about your dream. No, he doesn't. But you got a podcast to shoot. So (laughs) shut up. I'm tired. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry loud during it. You can put me to sleep or you can let me cry. But I don't care. (laughs) Brisha Webb. Yeah. Name means nothing to me. <laughs> Make it good. Who cares? <laughs> was in, in the, 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 the topic was so serious yeah. that Amar was just, he was like, mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. And you wanted a girl. Yeah. Ah, you wanted a girl so bad, you named him an angel too. Let I me. said, listen, shoot, somebody gonna take his name. Uh, can't share it. Like, you know, these are the things that I would want to be able to. I would want my daughter, if she was of age, to bring me this song, WAP. Like, if she was like, if she was like 18, to be like, Mama, have you heard this song? Mm-hmm. I'd be like, girl, but no, but this is fire. <laughs> like, that is the relationship I would love to have had with a daughter. But You would have been 58. I know. You know when I was younger, baby, I used to wop. Hey. And now you know what that need that left me gone. <laughs> it's gone, but listen, it's it listen though. I still got it on the right. Watch it. Ha, ha, ha. Yes, that is the relationship I would have wanted. Uh, but no, I don't have it. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt no, 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 you about it's your fine. Trip. It's fine. I just think, um, honestly, here's what I'll say. Whatever you feel, you're probably justified. Yeah. Um, my kids probably haven't heard the song. Maybe they there's I don't I don't um I don't want to say I don't care because that's not what I mean. Here's what I'll say. As a parent, I know I do my best to shield my children from mm-hmm. things that I feel like they are not appropriate right. to do. I, I, I do my best. I'm also well aware that part of growing up is whatever my... That's why rap, uh, you know, people got mad at Lonzo Ball because he said he'd rather listen to 20, 21 Savage than Nas, mm-hmm. right? Right. Every age of rap rejects the previous age of rap. Yeah. We was not listening to Curtis Blow. And, you know, we was listening to people who was releasing rap when we were yeah. out. When Snoop yeah. released Doggy Style and, and Dre released The Chronic. And, you know what I'm saying? When right. DMX released uh, Stop, I was like, yes. Yeah. I wasn't going back and saying, let me listen to mm-hmm. uh, The Furious Five. And, yeah. you know, Fat Fry Freddy and Run DMC. Right. Like, 
I know what they brought to the table. Mm -hmm. I respect it, but that's not my rap of choice. Yeah. So that's why we always going to be like, man, a little Uzi verse. And, but I, that, little Uzi's making f music for a little Uzi, literal Uziers. Yes, yes. Little Uzi's. Right. He's not making, I'm almost 40. Mm -hmm. He don't care about me. He don't give not one cent. He about cares about know. the 14 years old and yeah. the 16 year old. You know what I'm saying? One thing I do agree about Cardi, people tend to complain about stuff they they hate more than they champion stuff they like, mm -hmm. right? Chica, she's one of my favorite rappers, yeah. right? I love her. Mm -hmm. So when we do like, hey, check out Chica, check out Rhapsody. If you don't like that, then Cardi has a point. Big up, listen. Chica made the freshman class. She did. I saw that. I was really happy for her because she, first of all, her brown skin girl cover oh. that I posted, she's too talented. She's amazing. She can also act. Her Who's she acting? She that. acted in a new Netflix show. Get out! No, nah. are you gonna be upset? No, what you okay, mean? Okay, because you like another rapper done took my. No, 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 no. <laughs> she's a she's a talented artist. I will say that I was upset seeing Mary J. Blige in um, Umbrella Academy. D okay, but did you see Mary J. Blige in um? I ain't seen nothing. Uh, what was that? Mud I know what you're talking about. Like mud. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I haven't seen. I heard she was great. That's why she got nominated for different um Angel awards. She was great. She been through a lot, so I feel like she has stuff to like use Man. to bring to a character. I do feel like that. Hold on, I mean, I got to tell you what what thing Chica was in. It's a it was a trailer. Um, oh, so it hasn't come out yet. Uh -uh, Mudbound is what uh, Mary Mudbound. That was mm -hmm. it. Somebody in Patreon I think I still it. have it. I haven't watched it. That's when you know one, when they send out screeners. Uh, what's the name produced? Mudbound. I don't know. I don't know who produced my thing. I think it was something else. I can't find the Netflix thing. Anybody in Patreon know what Netflix thing Chica was in? I've heard so many mixed reviews on Umbrella Academy. Really? Yeah. I'm enjoying it. I it's mean, making it's, me not want to watch it because it's you just, people. That means you got to watch for yourself. Yeah, watch huh? it for I yourself. I feel like you got to watch for yourself. Have you seen then. it? I've seen part of the first season. I never finished it though because it was a talking monkey and I started getting. They started that losing me. <laughs> Uh -huh, you think, well, why is he talking? Uh, we're in the second season. It, it's got, it definitely has like it, places that they could have improved, but it's not like, oh, this is horrible. Yeah. Uh, okay, it's Project Power. No. Nope. Project oh, Power. No. That's what somebody said. Is it Project Power? Mm -hmm. Power book. That's okay. What people are putting. Anyway, by the way, I totally forgot to mention this because I was talking about the comedy show earlier. If you want to join Patreon and support this show, support Angel, support what we're building here, KevonStateStudios.com. <clears throat> that's how you support us. Uh, anyway, yeah. Chica's amazing. Yes, yeah, she is. Um, I think she has her place. And then sometimes you want to listen to Flo Millie. Yeah. Same thing with music. I feel like uh, there was Trina, there was Lil' Kim, mm -hmm. there was MC Light, there was Queen Latifah. There's always a person making music for your taste. It's, yeah. And I feel like, you know, in America, oh, this is what I was going to say. Please. People say they hate reality TV and trash TV. If that were true, Reality TV would be off the air. Right. There's enough people who love it. networks don't care what you like. They care what you watch. Yeah. And people watch that stuff. Mm -hmm. BT, they didn't want it on BT, but Viacom was like, okay, so they want it on VH1? All right. Okay. Loving Hip Hop is now on VH1. Them ratings be on there. Yeah. So Real Housewives, we say whatever you want, but mm -hmm. when you when they make these melodramatic shows and representing this and that, and people are like, cool, 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 cool. When is Love and Hip Hop come out? And right. there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Just don't lie. Right. Don't lie and say this is trash TV. I mean, every everybody's like, ah, I don't watch that. Somebody's lying. Somebody is lying because there's someone watching it. And it, it's okay if you decide in your house the things that you will and won't mm -hmm. do. But to sit here and think that the rest of the world is doing the exact same thing as you when there is proof that that's not the case. There are no. too many millions of views and listens on WAP. Somebody and it's not a whole bunch of people accidentally stumbling. Now the WAP you it gets slippery, but it's not that slippery to where you just slipping into the song. You feel me? You didn't you clicked into the the, the song. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to throw you on. Yeah. Okay. Moving on. Uh, you you threw this in the docket, Angel. Why don't you tee it up for us? Oh my goodness. So as we all know. 
Kev on stage is brilliant, and you've been been innovative in all the things that you've been doing, right? Thank oh, you, Angel, for this compliment. Take it. I accept Ooh, this. Oh, I forget this makes I, you uncomfortable. I, I, I appreciate that you view me this way. It means a lot to me as a fellow comedian and actress. Yes. I appreciate this. I love the world. Okay. So <laughs> him, and, he's innovative, and he created something that everybody is benefiting from with the, uh, uh, what is it? Keep Your Distance comedy show. I was about to say, show yourself farther away. Keep Your Distance comedy show. You're making stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, show yourself away laughter. Show yourself. You know the yourself. angel gonna feed you. You know your name. Get in here. When Get your in. kids have kids, no oh. chance you know their name. Oh, psh, come no. in here, uh, Mars boy. And she, they better name <laughs> their kids after themselves. Uh, but so, Kev is not the only person out here being innovative. My uh, manager actually posted a picture of a strip truck. Basically, it is a truck. Think of like a kind of like a Mack truck, right? It'll be right here. And a bu- most of it is see-through. Like you can see like clear like plexiglass with a stripper pole in it and like a red curtain so I guess that the ladies can like go back and put on clothing or the next act can come out. So oh. sh- so strippers are now able to get back to work in Los Angeles. Because our strip clothes, uh, clubs are yeah. closed. You know what this looks like? I don't, have you been to Amsterdam? No. I, I'm so, sorry. That was a flex. Okay, let me, let me prophesy you... something to you first. Okay. When we start touring together. Okay. In whatever it is. Capacity. You can do stand-up comedy. You can do the podcast. When we tour, I'm going to give you the same thing we gave Tony into here and all that. What them. is it? We're going to go international. Uh-huh. When we go to this. So what we do, we go to that London show. Oh, yeah. Oh, we go to another part of Europe. Okay. Okay, so we went to Amsterdam. We're going, I'm going to get you over there. Mark okay. my words. It's, Mark my it's words. It's now. When me and Angel tour, it's coming. When the world opens back up, probably 2028, 20, when we finally get, get it back. You're right. <laughs> when we get to tour, I was going to ask you about that. I was like, man, I wonder if Angel would do, go on tour, but then she got them kids. Then I thought, that's misogynist. Because if, if he was a man, I mean, if Marcus on tour, I let him figure it out. Mm-hmm. I put him on the offer. That's your problem. Them, your kids. I don't care what them kids do. I'm uh, glad you had that conversation in your head. I did because I got to stop doing that for women. You I got let, let you decide what your kids. If they join gangs because you're on the road. That's that's your responsibility. <laughs> right, exactly. Let that let the market do that. They are the top tier of the gang bangers. I'm they okay. better beat me. See if you've been <laughs> in the comedy <laughs> show, you would have got Angel's joke. I can't give it away. <laughs> Uh, but in Amsterdam, the red light district looks just like this. They uh-huh. have the little window. It's not this big. There'd be like little houses. Okay. And they have the little red curtain when they off or taking a break. Okay. Uh, and then when they open the curtain, and they be. Get it back to it. They, and they open that curtain. It looked just like this. Um, well, they brought let it me to tell you what, <laughs> Um Coronavirus has taught me something about us. What is that? We are innovative. Yeah. People be like, okay, so. What does a restaurant look like now? Mm-hmm. It looks like there's a restaurant by my house. They built, um, they moved all this stuff outside. Mm-hmm. They they put uh, created tables in the parking lot, right? And they have um, basically PVC pipe and and plastic, uh, uh, big sheets of plastic, kind of like the stripper club uh-huh. thing, but it's not glass. And the the, the waitresses and waiters have uh, the, shield. the shield and the mask. People was like, we gonna sell this food. Absolutely. If y'all can't come indoors, we gonna sell this food. Some things are not going to make it. Yeah, some right? things will be A extinct. bank by my house just closed. Mm-hmm. They was like, listen, man, we was kind of struggling before this. Right. <laughs> we one can't of my do favorite it. restaurants closed yeah. permanently. One of their locations, the one closer to my house, we just ordered there. They was like, bro. So many businesses were just like, we 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 were already on thin ice. Right. So ain't no government loan, ain't no PPE loan. Uh we just we gonna just call it a day. So, but everything creates innovation. So when September eleventh happened, I uh, remember I worked worked at Burger King. I was I had direct deposit before this mm-hmm. because I was like I'm not finna go to the bank. Like mm-hmm. I just don't want to. All them old people at my Burger King, none of them had direct deposit. September 11th happened and them checks got messed up. The next pay period, the entire Burger King was on um, direct deposit. Mm. So I think everything changes. Like, yeah. and I'm not saying I'm happy, but for my studio, the fact that movies like Mulan. Now on Disney Plus. Yeah. People, wa- I was watching people watching the comedy show. They watch our podcast. They watch Bald and the Beautiful. They stream it to their TV. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. I watch everything on my TV now. I don't have to watch it on my phone. You don't need to watch it on your phone. Melissa hates watching things on laptop. She's mm-hmm. like, if I'm watching a program, I need it to be 
on my TV. Yeah. Now, a lot of times it don't be working, so she be casting it. <laughs> she be having to watch it, but she be frustrated. Yeah. But that's why I like Keep Your Distance Comedy because it's like opening a comedy club right now. And this wasn't even a dream of mine. Mm -hmm. Like, I just was like, I, I tweeted this and I put it on Instagram. I was like, I may have just stumbled upon a business because I can't tour. Right. Right. Right now. Yeah. And it's unlikely until there's a vaccine. Mm -hmm. But I, and I, I love stand up comedy. And LA allows you to have, you know, socially distance a certain amount of people. Yeah. So, and a lot of comics are like, bro, I want to work. Yeah. You know, so, uh, and, but that's happening in so many different industries. Like, yeah. so many businesses, Netflix, Mel, um, her job was like, honestly, we probably didn't even need to be coming in here. Yeah, like the, the brick and mortar was not necessary for a lot of places. That was yeah. just for them to keep their, tab, their fingers. I mean, and some people are shysty and they won't do work at home, but it was just but to keep tabs on folks. When I was at All Deaf, they used to be so pissed at me. I promise you, Angel. I used to be in the meetings like, we don't really need to be in here. Mm -hmm. Like, we don't. We are a technology company. Mm -hmm. I was like, we need to be here on shoot days. But like at this time, Josh was channel managing a poetry uh, channel. He he sat there and did his job. You didn't. He didn't right. need to drive from Camarillo to, to downtown LA to. First of all, he brought his laptop to work, oh God. opened it, and then just did what he could have done at home. Right. Right. And they were like, well, "People ain't gonna work if they're not here. People aren't gonna work." Period. Mm -hmm. And all deaf, we didn't even have to hide it. Yeah. I remember, whew, towards the end of my Man. career, early in my career, I worked. Uh huh. But once Pat and Meg were at full speed. I was like, literally, I'm going to watch Curb Your Enthusiasm <laughs> from the beginning. And I'm talking about no reason to hide it. Right. Nobody would even care. Right. Our, our uh, I don't know what his title was, but he was the head of the sales thing. Mm -hmm. Never sold a thing in his <laughs> tenure. Oh, wow. White man. Got a job. Oh, Two my. and a half years. Head of sales. No lie, Angel. Collecting never a sold check. a thing. He got... <sighs> paid more a year than I made my entire tenure at All Deaf and all he had was failed deals. Before I was into Premier League soccer, this man would be watching championship or uh, Champions League on Tuesday, full soccer games on his monitor. No one cared. We had open office plan, all these glass windows. Oh no. We would be doing whatever mm -hmm. we wanted to. But when it was time to work and shoot an episode, like that's the only reason we should have had on. to come in. Where, where a schedule was needed, yes. like a scheduled out day. But that, but those days we'd be there, of course, a full twelve hours, shooting something if we needed to be. Exactly. But every day. So now, what I realize is a lot of companies, like Netflix, for example. Man, at Netflix, I'm realizing the 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 perk is how nice of a place it is. Yeah. Netflix has. Um, Eat.com, I, I, whatever the company is, but you get, they have free lunch in trays, vegan yeah. options, whatever, big trays. Then they have a whole cafeteria mm -hmm. with everything, everything. Angel. Yeah. Then on each floor, this is all, you have this. Mm -hmm. On each floor, they have a huge open kitchen and set up. They have people come in and make breakfast and lunch and then take away dinners. Yeah. Okay. They have a dog on a humongous office closet thing full of laptops, chargers, cell phone chargers, backpacks. I mean, it was Mel was just like, this is great. Yeah, that's how that's how these big like um Google, even the Instagram, Instagram's office out here or Facebook's mm -hmm. office. Ply Vista? Is, yes, it's not even their oh, main man. office no. in that thing be like lit. It's the baby office. Yes, the real one is stupid. <sighs> and the thing is, the more money you make, the less actual work you have to do. Amen. And the less actual amount of time it takes to do your job. Mm -hmm. When I was at Boeing, I tell people this all the time. The hardest job I worked was Burger King. Yeah. And when I worked with them kids, I got paid way more at Boeing and I didn't do anything. People be like, y'all must not have real jobs if you can be on YouTube all day. No, you actually, the more money you make, the more time you have to like mess around. Yeah. Because you don't like, and especially if you're good at your job, or you right. got employees? Y'all do that. Yeah. I'm in here watching. Uh, here's the thing. Here's what y'all <laughs> They don't have to. Nobody has to do that. I was at Boeing being like, man, I'm going to watch Tim DeLeghetto, then Dormtainment, then a full-on movie, and then go to lunch. <laughs> then I'm going to go. Then I'm going to go walk around Target, come back. I'm going to watch Issa Rae's new episode, podcast. I was like, ah. 
But that's what you, I mean, not to say that's what, it's kind of where you're trying to get to of where you're only working to do the things that you enjoy doing and that you're able with the income or the whatever you're bringing in, generating to pay other people to do the things that you don't actually want to do. Listen, there might be a necessity, but you don't want to do it. When I hired Josh, you know why? It was because I was tired of editing. Listen. And I was messing up and I was on the road and I was editing in the Aska and I had a show and I was just like, no yeah. anymore. Mm -hmm. So when I leave here, Josh now has to start another job. Listen. I'm sorry, Josh, but I don't want to edit. Well, the first time I met Josh at your house when we did the episode of uh, Love Hour, when y'all were still shooting at your house mm -hmm. and I met Josh then, Josh has been a goal since then. I was like, I need a Josh. He was like, here's the creative director of uh, Kev on Stage Studios. I was like, oh my God, look at him. He's he's watching everything, making sure it looks right and it sound. And this is, I be at home like, okay, can I see it? Is it sound good? Does it sound okay? I was like, oh, I, I need it. Mars breathing in one ear. Yes, exactly. And I, Or I don't hear it because I'm thinking I'm hearing it in real time and not through the daggone headphones. But yes, you want to get to a place where you are the executive of your business not the the admin not the the all the other pieces not all the things the book the big leap talks about that i know I, i've got to that point the it's, eight hours that will do put to put together the printer yeah what's the point i, I, I tell my here. wife that now it's like we talk about because she she's a mother she wants to cook she wants mm -hmm. to clean and i'm like respect all that do i i hear your heart but you are a creative genius. Mm -hmm. Your time for this family probably best spent creating. Yeah. You shouldn't have to clean up the house. I need my husband to have that spirit. <laughs> He'd be like, no, nah, because the, listen, because if we hire somebody, you just go mess it up. And then we'll have them come back again. <laughs> and again and again and again <laughs> and again. Because I know it's not my call. It's not my ministry. The Lord didn't put that in me. So I don't know why he tries to force that into me. I am Bruh, not the cleaner. My God today. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, what is it? One on it? Go ahead. Yes. If I was not married to Melissa and I was living my life this way, I probably would never eat home cooked food in my life. You would just order? What? Oh. I would know what home cooked till my grandma came. I might hire a chef. That was about to say, I would chef it. I wouldn't be doing Did you ever live alone uh, before you met Marcus? I never. I think I had two seconds by myself. I mean, like two hot seconds, two hot seconds. Yep, that's it. What was this? Y'all got married how long after college? I got married a year after grad school, but we lived together. We sh we uh, shacked, shacked up. up. It's too expensive. You, uh, he. I moved him out here. What were we gonna do? Yeah. You was gonna shack up. Yes. Not, More not, people not, shack up because yeah. of the price of rent than religious huh. They don't be the sex. They like, we could do that from separate places. And we were actually celibate during the time where we were shacking up. Really? Yes, we were. How? I said, I got to do this for the Lord. He still thinks it's the stupidest thing we've ever done. <laughs> Marcus Tanksley. I respect that even more. Uh, yeah. I had so many friends who were in church. The pastor would be preaching about chocking up. They were like, all right, yeah. you pay the half. Right. They have, somebody going to have to do it. He came from, he was living in a three-bedroom house by himself. Three-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath. Maybe it was four-bedroom. He was paying like four twenty five for rent oh, with the backyard. In Kentucky? Yeah, in Kentucky. Two-car garage. Very nice house. Four twenty five. Four twenty five. dollars And I was like, so come on, move to L.A. because we're going to be together. We were in a, I think, maybe a thousand square foot apartment that had two bedrooms, two bath roaches for $1,200. $1,200. Two bedroom, two bath. Man, you can't find that now. You can't find for that a now. Thousand. I'll take the roaches for twelve hundred for two yeah. beds. So, and I think right now They're it's cold. probably They're it's probably existed. good two grand now that you uh, got it. Easy. You know how many times I think about my first apartment? That thing was five sixty five. Mm. This was a one bedroom underground dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> and I think upon the, and then when me and Melissa moved together, that thing went up to eight fifteen. I was like, "This girl is gonna put me in the poorhouse." <laughs> How am I gonna come up with eight fifteen every month? I barely had the five. Yeah, to put on rent, let alone everything else. So oh. We split everything. Oh, I need help. Mm. She mm. had the real job. She was working at the bank management training program. I was I was watching people's kids <laughs> for minimum wage. And when I graduated, I said I got my degree. Thirty cents raised. <laughs> That's like good for you. Melissa gave me an allowance. 
Oh, I had a hundred dollars. She loved her some she, pants. Listen, I made so little money. <laughs> This is that first King? apartment? No, no, this is when I worked at Kinder Care. I had so little money. She was <laughs> like, on, bro, I cannot picture <laughs> you working with a bunch of little kids. I was the best. <laughs> I was the best. When I brought my check there, she's like, oh, you can keep it. Oh, I can keep it. This game, it went with $150 every Friday. I got paid weekly. <laughs> she was like, oh, that's your little playbook. <laughs> She was like, oh. Josh, I was at kinder care with the school age kids. I was the best worst teacher ever. I believe it. When them kids pissed me off, I was like, dodgeball, guys. Oh, Kev. Joshua. (laughs) Ping. What? I was firing them kids up. That's so terrible. There was this one kid. I can't remember his name. He was big and, and he was 13. He used to be talking I am about to say cash crazy. Yeah. See how you rubbing off on cash me? Cash crazy. I'm just saying he was talking cash crazy. <laughs> I said, dodgeball guys. And it was just me and him. Them other kids. And I would do this thing where I would throw the ball at their leg. Uh-huh. Okay. Hit the one leg, trip. So that way when you parent, God, I can't ping you in the face. And of course not. You getting fired. But I can hit you in the leg. That kid said, boom, boom. On the ground. You did that on purpose. Why would I? You know I wouldn't hit you in the face. <laughs> you are terrible. Oh, it was the worst. Uh, oh, dodgeball was my get out. No, sometimes I ain't going to hold you. It's been a long time. Statue of limitations. I popped some of them kids in the head. <laughs> but you couldn't pop them. No, no, you going to talk can. crazy? I got you. And they never caught on. That dodgeball days was all. It was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Kevin. Who threw that? I used to be over there launching from... They used to be in this little jungle gym or like playhouse with an open thing. Uh, I used to be tossing the ping, hit their head on the plastic. That is terrible. Oh, yeah. They got you up out of there. I think his name was Magnus. Now they probably in their therapy sessions talking about that. I remember I had a teacher. I felt like he was gunning for me, busting me all up in the face. How did that make you feel? I'm going to be in therapy too. Some of my greatest joys was <laughs> pinging little kids in the face. There was a little Chinese girl. She was, um, man, and I never could hurt this girl because she was sweet, but she was the devil incarnate. Oh. She was adopted by white parents. Mm. And this girl, she, I mean, she would, she was running parents out of there. I mean, mm. our parents, um, uh, teachers. teachers. They was like, I can't, her name was Megan. And she was uh, the, de- the devil the spawn. Devil. Uh-huh. I mean, she just never, she, the girl never took a nap. Uh, she would just be up in the the little mat. You are never tired. Mm-hmm. No, go to sleep. No, I'll give everybody who candy who goes to sleep. I don't like candy. <laughs> Even don't tomatoes. get sleepy. <laughs> Angel, she was no match. I was no match for her. Uh, couldn't she was too sweet. I couldn't just ping her in the face. I don't mm. even reserve that. For, usually it was boys acting up, mm. and they were always trying to be tough. You know, in that's the what we had to watch. The I when I was working at a daycare because I did as well, but I was a teenager. I wasn't a grown person. That was a black daycare? <laughs> no, it was a regular one. It was like we had all the peoples. How'd you get to work as a teen? You'd be 17. Oh, you were, okay. I, yeah, for yeah. whatever reason, I thought 13. No, you're 17. There was a little fat little little Asian girl named Carrie Tay. She looked like she didn't have no bones in her body. She was so young. She was like one. She was my favorite. She just looked like a little cabbage patch doll. But I couldn't watch the older kids because I can't deal with attitude. Mm-hmm. So I would a lot of people was like school age. I can't do it. No, heck, no. I'd be the cuss the child most out. That's how people are. You, you musty too. Kids would be musty. Oh, by that age. can't do it. Mm-hmm. Cannot. So yeah, I used to only watch the babies. That's what you needed to be doing. You mean Mm-mm. Meg Bust- is Korean, guys? For all y'all on the Patreon saying Meg scoop. Meg is Korean and yes, black. This girl was one hundred percent Chinese. Yes. And then parents could not handle this girl uh, did some of them be bad and you be like it's because of bad parenting that's what I it be does <laughs> i have to go to the bathroom okay. i've been holding it we, i want to get an hour and a half i i, I have i've been drinking water mm-hmm. uh again we love you patreon love you guys yes, uh we do. make sure to get your tickets to the show friday we'll see patreon on friday uh yeah at, and what time is it? Around 11? 11 o'clock. 11 ish. Oh, no. I'm thinking of the 11. show. 11 ish. Yeah. 11 ish. The, the podcast. You know, Angel, Angel come in and Josh, we just be chopping. We be chopping it up a little too much. We do. That's why we be late. This is supposed to be 12 30, 12 45. About one. It was one. It was 11 15 because we sit down at 11. We sit down at 11. Well, Angel come at 12 30. 
You talking about today? No, mostly like the time for you to come is twelve thirty. Uh-huh. And when you get in, we don't. You know, Lisa be here. Yeah, hey, girl. Man, hey. Yeah. Her and Lisa got ten minutes. We got to. We they got to chop to, it up. They got to do the black girl chop up. So that's ten. Mm-hmm. I don't particularly be in a rush. No, because he didn't just did the love shot hour fifty and, million and, things. I, and I saw so an angel coming. I'll be like, ah, that means eventually I'm gonna have to go in there. Yeah. And I like shooting it, but I just been shooting. Uh, so it, between twelve thirty and one. Is on today on Tuesdays. No, on Tuesdays, but Patreon will see you guys on Friday. Everybody else will see you next Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Uh, unless you buy a ticket to the show, we'll see you on Wednesday. Patreon. I'm gonna remind you guys. Let me tell you what black people do. What they do? Buy things late. Mm-hmm. So many people have been DMing me on Instagram. They're like, "Kev, thanks for the reminder. I'm gonna get my tickets Friday." You like? It ain't even not. about the money. It's about black people be like, mm. "I ain't gonna do it." You do. Yeah. It's something about that. I mean, that requires money leaving the account I too. Gonna, I, listen, we ain't gonna let it go till it gotta be gone. You feel me? Come on, last minute. Uh, but get it because you ain't gonna be able to watch it. But don't come talking to me. Ask if you forget because I got a lot of them emails. Oh, so did I. Oh, I was missed. Well, can I? No, I talked to the comedians. Right. We said, I, listen, I said. You're, you're from the live to 24 hours because they're like, yeah, well, I got some of this material. I want to use my best stuff, but I can't do this. If you're going to post, I ain't going to sell it. DVD, that's not what our agreement was. No. It's like a live show. All I can give you is 24. So if you buy it on Friday, that's fine. But don't come to me. 701, it's gone. It's gone. The link don't work no more. It don't work no more. It says sales have ended. Yeah. Don't add me. Love y'all. Peace.